What's up guys, this is Zay for iOS Hacker. In this video, we're going to take a look at the watchOS 10 software update and see how it performs on my Apple Watch Series 6. Apple Watch Series 6 is an old Apple Watch model. It came out back in September 2020, which means it has been out for over 3 years. With Apple adding several new features and UI improvements in this update, let's see how it performs on this 3-year-old Apple Watch. One of the main highlights of the watchOS 10 update are the 4 new watch faces. This includes the Solar Analog watch face, Palette watch face, Nike Globe watch face and the Fun Snoopy watch face. All of these watch faces come with unique designs and can be customized by the user. You can change their colors, complications, design and more. You can make all these changes from watchOS's watch face screen. Here you can change styles, colors and add other customizations before finally adding your desired watch face to your watch face collection. Out of all the 4 new options, the Snoopy watch face is my favorite. It offers some cool animations that change every time you turn on your watch screen. You also get several customization options that let you change it according to your liking. As you can see, the animation heavy watch face does not lag at all and works pretty nicely on this Series 6 watch. WatchOS 10 changes the way how you access the control center screen on your Apple Watch. Previously, you could swipe up to access control center, but now you have to tap on the side button. In WatchOS 10, the home screen of the Apple Watch defaults to the list view, but you can also quickly switch to the new grid view by tapping on the button located at the end of the screen. The grid view has also been redesigned in WatchOS 10. Now you can scroll through all your apps by rotating the digital crown button and tap on the app that you want to launch. In watchOS 10, many stock apps have been reimagined. Now within the apps, you get all these buttons at the corners of the screen that allow you to perform different actions in the app. Apple has also introduced a new page-based user interface where you can rotate the digital crown or swipe on the screen to access different pages within the app each page displays different kind of information. The Smart Stacks feature is definitely one of my favorite. This new feature allows you to access different kinds of widgets that give you at a glance information about your activity, calendar, music and more. You can also customize the Smart Stack page by long pressing anywhere on the screen and then tapping on the plus button. You can add any widgets you like or remove the ones that you have already added. Again, as you can see, the performance of these watchOS 10 features on this 3-year-old Apple Watch Series 6 is pretty nice. Over the past few days in which I have been using watchOS 10 on this Apple Watch, I have not seen any lag or any visible loading times that might annoy me. So if you are someone who is on the fence and wants to upgrade his or her older Apple Watch to watchOS 10, I would say go for it. If you have any questions regarding watchOS 10 on an older Apple Watch, then do let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I answer all your questions. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. This was Zay for iOS Hacker and I will catch you in our next video.